back. Well, right now we are working to get some new details on what led to a house fire that injured two firefighters. So we know it happened at a home near New York and rural streets. Our Matthew Fultz was at the scene and has the latest on the investigation. Fire officials have wrapped up their investigation here at this home behind me where that fire started early Tuesday morning. Right now, investigators say it's normally a vacant home, but they believe squatters may have been inside the home when the fire started. IFD was called to the home shortly before 3.30 Tuesday morning. Investigators say the fire started on the second floor, quickly spreading throughout the attic. We're told a female firefighter was on the second floor when the floor gave out. She fell through the story to the first floor. That's when a mayday call was dispatched out. Very disconcerting moment for firefighters on the scene because when you hear that come over the radio, it, it grabs your attention like nothing else. It's a call that goes out anytime a firefighter is injured, trapped, or missing. It's not something that we use very often, only because it's a very serious call. And when um, firefighters hear that come over the radio, it is it, it completely sends you into a, a different mindset of how you're going to, you know, now how to get this person out. IFD says the female firefighter did get out of the home on her own, but she was taken to Methodist Hospital to be checked out. Another firefighter also suffered minor injuries and was later sent to Eskenazi to be looked at. We're told both are now at home recovering. Now, right now, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. As soon as we learn more information, we'll be sure to pass that along to you both on air and online at WTHR.com. Reporting on Indy's Near East Side, I'm Matthew Foltz, 13 News.